G'day, I'm Alistair Christie from LearnDelphi.tv. Have a look at LearnDelphi.tv to find more great video content, both free and commercial. In this video, we're going to take a look at restructuring a while loop, but this would equally work with repeat and for loops. I have here a very contrived application based on the fish facts data, and if we have a look at the uh, standard button, we'll see that um, basically we're just going through a loop, and if the species number is not oh, is divisible by 20 and the category is ray, uh, we're adding up all the length and then we're just reporting that information at the end. So we'll just run that and we get about 8 meters and 11 of the 28 fish are used in the calculation. So we can actually um, reorder this for loop So and by um, reversing these uh, conditions and then calling continue, uh, which is what I've done in the guard clauses. So basically I've grabbed um, oops, these two lines here and repeated them um, in each of the conditions and call and continue. So um, this performs exactly the same thing. Um, our nesting depth is slightly less but we've got more code. Um, so if we run that we'll just confirm that we do get the same result. And we do. So what we want to do is um, remove sort of this redundancy out, and um, this is what we're going to do next. So I have the uh, exact same bit of code in this um, guard finally clause. We'll click. Um, we're going to do a try finally um, bit of code, and shift that into the finally. And so basically uh, we know that this is always going to get executed, so we can remove those lines and we don't need the begin ends. And we can indent that like so. So um, this is much cleaner um, and we know that it'll always uh, loop through and we can confirm that it does indeed get the same result. So why would you do this um, as opposed to this bit of code, which is kind of the more classic um, Delphi? Um, this, if you had, okay, we've only got two two sort of if statements. Uh, if we had a dozen of them, um, this would nest out uh, very deep um, and you just get lost in the beginnings and what have you. And it certainly helps um, having CN pack with the um, structural highlighting, but um, this will only, if you, if you can uh, rewrite it this way, this will only get to this depth, uh, even if you had 20, because uh, 20 um, if statements. So um, you might want to, uh, if you come across some uh, code which is like unmaintainable, but um, structured in, in this way, um, you can rewrite it without changing the functionality, that is refactor it um, into this form uh, and it becomes a lot easier to read and work, work out what's going on, or can do, not always. So um, I hope you have found this somewhat useful. Uh, I'm Alistair Christie from LearnDelphi.tv.